first of all, let's talk about Michael Wolff's book, because there are a number of issues that are issues that we know Robert Mueller is looking into. And Bannon suggests, for instance, that the, even holding that meeting in Trump Tower with the Russians is treasonous. That's, he doesn't have any legal standing to say that, but um, how does that, if at all, affect the investigation? Well, I, I certainly concur with the idea that uh, Bannon expresses uh, reportedly in his book that this should have been reported to the FBI. Uh, this is a meeting that the FBI should have been made aware of. Look, the Russian government is trying to intervene, is offering help to a presidential campaign. Uh, here's the approach they made to us. They didn't do that. Um, whether that is criminal or not will be something Bob Mueller will ultimately determine. And obviously, we're investigating all the facts around that meeting and have a lot more work to do. But I certainly agree with the, the, the kind of damning characterization of it. I, I don't know that I would call it treason, but certainly it was a unpatriotic, uh, may have very well been part of a, um, a conspiracy. We're still trying to determine whether there were meetings that went before that and after it. And what about Mark Corrales, someone you probably know uh, of, at least, who was a spokesman for uh, the legal team, but in the past had actually worked with the Justice Department and with prosecutors, quitting and saying in the book that, or being quoted as saying in the book, or referred to as, as quitting because he felt that the shaping of that explanation of the Russia meeting at Trump Tower from the president on down on that Air Force One flight back from Germany when it was first revealed, that that was uh, on its face obstruction. Well, I, I think the obstruction of justice uh, is a real issue that bears investigation by us and by Bob Mueller. Um, we are trying to get to the bottom of what took place uh, on that plane as well. Uh, I asked uh, Donald Trump Jr. about the conversation he had with his father uh, after that uh, meeting became public, uh, and he refused to answer, invoking a non-existent attorney-client privilege between he and his father. Um, it remains to be seen whether we can get the majority support to compel him to come back and answer those questions as we need to to get to the bottom of this.